Some of the stains in my eyeball. I can call it dry eye. I can call it dry eye. Thanks, what do you know about dry eye? I see I see it on um on ads. <laughs> so you be watching ads for dry eyes? No, it just shows up. I don't pick it. <laughs> okay, so this is me. I use artificial tears often. It's a stress that's on the, sur uh, the surface of your eyes. Jays! <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, aka Pineapple Vegan. So it is Christmas Eve. We do hot chocolate and cookies for Santa. But I decided to go ahead and do my hot chocolate now because it is cold outside and we're just chilling and vibing out. And I figured I'd go ahead and record it for you guys so that you can make some vegan hot chocolate for your family too if you want to. As always, I do have my burner already hot, but I take my pan off because my burner is a gangster burner. So I am gonna go ahead and put a cup of water. It's actually purified water, but you don't have to be fancy like me. First, I'm gonna show you my milk. So this is the Simple Truth Almond Chocolate Milk. You do not have to use this if you don't want, but we do like our hot chocolate very rich. You can use any plant-based milk that you want. It does not have to be chocolate milk, but I'm using chocolate milk. And then we have some chocolate syrup. We need those, you remember the semi-sweet dark chocolate that we used for another video? Same chocolate. This is probably about a cup. And then you'll need half a cup of cane sugar because the dark chocolate is not sweet. It's very bitter and you will need extra sugar. Also, you will need vanilla, Hershey's cocoa powdered if you want, and this is the Vesalelli chocolate. What did you say? Mm -hmm. And then I also have some marshmallows. I got these from Trader Joe's. I prefer these over the dandies. You can look up why. And cinnamon. First, let's get our milk. Um, there's really no measurements to this. I have a big family. I'm just making a lot. Okay, so I'll probably use about half of that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cinnamon because it's the hardest to mix up. Love a visitor. It's smelling hot chocolate. Okay, so I went ahead and put in. What are you doing? Smoldering. <laughs> the smolder. Wait, let me see your smolder. <laughs> Dr. Brakes. Jays. We just got back from San Juanti too, so he's practicing his smolder. Okay, let's go ahead and add in the chocolate. So, the reason why I add cinnamon to mine is because I grew up drinking the abuelita cocoa tea and I actually have some, but I know a lot of people don't buy that, so I wanted to show you how to make your own. You wanna mix this for me? Okay, and now we're gonna get our powdered cocoa. I like a little less than a fourth of a cup. It's gonna be very chocolatey, y'all. If you like super chocolatey hot cocoa, then this is the one you need. I wanna get chocolate wasted. Our sugar. I heard you say oh, no, can you just drink this one? Grown-ups can drink this also. I Our kids. vanilla kids can. This one I didn't make it for grown-ups. This is for us. So you just keep mixing that, mixing that, mixing that, mixing that. Be careful, gently, gently. Chocolate syrup. Ain't nothing healthy about this. Ew, it just fell. that's so rude. Excuse me. Um, and I'm actually not gonna add this one because I added enough chocolate, but this is an option. Now, a lot of these will say may contain milk or process in a plant that uses milk products. They're basically saying like, this doesn't have milk in it, but we use the same type of equipment, so it could have traces of it in there. That's like a use it your own risk type thing, but yeah. Let me know when it starts bubbling, okay? I hear a sizzle. You gotta let him hear it sizzle, honey. Oh, that cinnamon. It smells just like Awalita cocoa mm. tea. Mmm, yummy. I think I can see steam. You see steam? Oh, okay. What's that song with the wishes? So it's the bones and then the back. Here to the cup to Malachim. Show me him, mother's baby. That's Give him the black. Like this. 
Mama, look, it's making a hurricane. <coughs> Mama, it's making a hurricane. A hurricane. Yes. Why are you making me sing Halloween stuff on Christmas? Jace, you're kind of gruesome. I'm starting to learn about you. You're a little twisted. You mean twist the bones on that? Mm. Do y'all like my shirt? It says a vegan vibes. I tied it up. It's a little big for me. Got it from Nuno's. You guys should definitely check him out. He's got some tacos. He's in Richardson and his food is popping. Okay. If you are interested in learning more about his food, I did a video review a few videos back. So you should definitely go back and check that out. All right, y'all. So this cocoa is done. I told you it didn't take much to it. All I did was whisk it. I feel like that made it creamier. And I feel like just doing this, it's like a technique. Only I can do this. You guys can try it at home. And maybe you can have the flick of the wrist. Okay, you guys, so the hot cocoa's done. It's very rich, it's very chocolatey, very yummy. And as I said earlier, I'm using the Trader Joe's mini marshmallows. They, it does have soy in it, but I don't care. Open. No! <laughs> For small kids, what I do is I put some in there, I don't fill it up, and then I'll just add extra chocolate milk. That way it's kid temp and they can actually drink it right away. It's not hot, not hot, but it's actually good. It's really good, it tastes better than last time. I know, because I'm the best. I like it? Mm hmm It's tasty. It's tasty. All right, you guys, so I hope you liked this video. Very easy, very quick. I just wanted to give you guys something to do, especially if you're a new vegan family and you want to start new traditions. This is something you could definitely do. We do this every Christmas Eve. We're gonna make our cookies next. And if you want a good cookie recipe, refer back to my other video where I made the Christmas cookies. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, <laughs> How are you guys? Hey. Mom. What, what are you doing? <laughs> mm. Merry Christmas Eve. Oh, she did the finger wave. Well, it's time to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Turtles. <laughs>